Other news, the Corpus Christi chapter of the NAACP, along with several other elected officials, civil rights and community groups, partnered together to honor the lives lost in the mass shootings in New York in Uvalde. The prayer vigil also acknowledged the lives lost of the two students from Ray High School today. Our Simone Simpson attended the vigil and she joins us in the studio tonight. Simone? Leslie, Rudy, hearts were heavy for this gathering, but as Mayor Guajardo mentioned in tonight's vigil, the greatest gift you can give to families impacted by these tragedies is prayer. Lord, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would just show us, oh God, how to love one another. Lord, we know, oh God, that hatred has no boundaries, oh God. Inside Solid Rock Church, residents from across the coastal bend came to pay their respects to those lost by tragedy. The power of prayer is, is really, as um, the mayor said, it's probably the most powerful thing that we can do when people are in distress. Remembering the lives of the victims in Buffalo and Uvalde moves people like Deborah Johnson. Prayer should move us to some sorts of action. Whatever you feel should change, you should bring forward. You should not be shy, you should be unabashed in your approach to change. The community coming together demonstrates that we all possess the power of compassion. Sadly, in this human life, we, we experience heartache, we experience um, all kinds of pain. And again, prayer is, it, 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 always, it is always, always the answer. And you can drop off donations as simple as bottled water at the Nueces County Courthouse. If you're in Robstown, you can drop items off at Oscar Mendoza's office or at the Nueces County Drainage District Number 2 office. Leslie, Rudy. All right, Simone, thank you for that report.